I absolutely loved this movie. This is gonna be a good day. Avengers! Knives Out is a murder mystery whodunit film starring phew, everyone. I'm gonna live, 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 until I... It was co-produced, written, and directed by Ryan Johnson. Knives Out is about a detective who investigates the death of a patriarch of an eccentric, combative family. There is one guilty party behind it all. You know something. Spill it. Oh my god. I think you have something you want to tell me. This movie was so much fun. The acting was excellent. I read a tweet about a New Yorker article about you. You're famous. Chris Evans was absolutely hilarious. He had me laughing every time he was on screen. He damn near stole the show. Okay, uh, this is Trooper Wagner. I'm Lieutenant Elliot. I just want to ask a few questions. Ana de Armas was fantastic as the housekeeper. She was really impressive, and I think it's her best performance to date. Daniel Craig was excellent as the famous private investigator known as... Who the f*** is that? The great Benoit Blanc, a brilliant detective. He suspected foul play. I suspect foul play. <laughs> he was so intense, but he was still so damn funny. He hit his comedic beats seamlessly. That also goes for Jamie Lee Curtis. Were you boinking my father? Boinking? Tony Collette. Did you just Google that? I did just Google that. Michael Shannon. Don Johnson. No. Yeah. Really goes for the whole cast. They all hit the comedic beats when they needed to. Up your ass. Oh, very nice. Matter of oh, fact, God. eat shit. How's that? Nice. Eat shit. Yeah. Eat shit. Yeah. Eat shit. Smug smile. Definitely eat shit. But they were also so good at jacking up the intensity when they needed to as well. I just buried my 85-year-old father who committed suicide. Why are you here? Whenever the camera was focused on a particular character, they did such a stellar job of knowing what to do with their eyes, their tone of voice, and their body language. By doing that, it makes it that much harder for the audience to figure out the mystery because we're looking for all the clues and those subtle details. And it seems as though damn near everything is a clue. He left early. I think Glenda was upset. Walt would get a little Irish courage in him. He'd get into it with Harlan. What? Richard said what? The visuals were really good. You can only do so much when a large portion of the movie takes place in one mansion. But Ryan Johnson and his cinematographer, Steve Yedlin, they do a great job of making the house feel different depending on the time of day or which part of the house the scene is in. So the setting doesn't really feel too stagnant. They really execute it on their attention to detail with the clues in the composition of their shots. Whether it's the actor's face, eyes, body language, or a particular object in the foreground or background, everything was meticulously placed with a purpose to put the pieces of the puzzle together or throw you off depending on which clue you're looking at. Along with the overwhelming amount of clues, they also utilize simple creative transitions to contribute to the overall feel of uncertainty and mystery in the movie. But it's not overdone. You don't get the feeling that the movie is trying to pat itself on the back for being clever. It's executed really, really well. So the movie makes you feel as though you're questioning everything that you're seeing on screen to keep you on your toes, to keep you guessing, and to make sure you're paying attention. It also knows when to throw some jokes in there. It doesn't take itself too seriously. All right, what is this? What's this arrangement? Mr. Drosdale. CSI KFC? <clears throat> there are a lot of strong aspects to this movie, but its strongest is the writing and directing. This movie is extremely well written, and you can tell Ryan Johnson is aware of his audience, so the film is aware of itself. He wrote this knowing we've seen these movies before. He knows the tropes, he knows the cliches, so he gives us the game and he gives us the players. That's it. Plain and simple. Yet he still does such a good job of subverting our expectations. He gives us the dialogue cues, the visual cues, the story cues that we're so used to seeing in murder mystery movies, but the cues are all over the place, so you really don't know what to think. Then, right when you're like, aha, I've got it, I figured it out. Uh, no. 
Okay, but now, now I've got it. I've got it figured out. No. <gasps> oh. oh my God. You really can't commit to a theory for too long in this movie because you're so certain about a theory and then out of nowhere, it doesn't hold up anymore. And even though it's out of nowhere, the timing is perfect because in that moment, you just think you figured it out and something comes along and completely changes everything. Has something changed? No. No, it hasn't changed or no, we can't ask. But Ryan Johnson doesn't do it in a way that feels cheap or frustrating for the viewer. He plays by the rules, the whole movie, which is really a testament to him as a writer and a filmmaker and a testament to the cast as well. To be able to execute a whodunit movie like this, when there's been so many before it and so many over the years, yet still keep us guessing throughout the entire movie and still play by the rules, it's really, really impressive. I'm giving this movie five out of five stars. What? What? No joke. It's a perfect whodunit movie. Go see this movie as soon as you can. It's funny. It's fun. It has a great ensemble cast with top-notch acting, excellent directing and storytelling, and it's so well written, and it really keeps you guessing throughout the entire movie. Okay, that's my take on Knives Out. If you've seen the movie, let me know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it. It seriously, it means a lot. And if you like this video, or if you like movies in general, subscribe to the channel to get notifications on all upcoming content, and I will see you in the next one. You gotta do this more often.